Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. And today we've got a bit of sad news, a bit of breaking sad news though, um, and that is related to Scott McTominay. Um, but before um, we go into um, to that, if you're new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter at WeAreUnitedX and smash the notification button for more good stuff. So yeah, this is coming... For Manchester United itself, um, but actually from from Sky News, um, and basically it says Manchester United are unsure when Scott McTominay will return from ankle knock. Um, now, as most people know, Manchester United uh, against Brighton three one one the weekend. Scott McTominay was playing in that game and did pick up a knock after I would argue a, a, a challenge um, from one of Brighton players um, and had to be pulled out of the squad, the Scottish squad, because obviously it's. Um, international week um so he it did initially he did have some issue with it um from what we can say during the partisan belgrade game so he did have a little bit of a knock um but once again as we've seen with this club and we've seen with social players playing with knocks um and still playing further games cop mctominy was playing against partisan belgrade on thursday and then went on to play on sunday um, against Brighton and and of course is exacerbated what was I believe in a pre-existing injury um, obviously McTominay who's obviously 22 um, we, you know we hope they'd be, be, be available soon but he's definitely a doubt for the Sheffield United game and when you consider the fact that poor Pogba who is starting to come up to fitness but is not going to be back until the City game United United are, from what we can tell, unsure as to when he'll come back. And, you know, I'm hoping and praying um, that this is not a, a massive injury and that Scott McTominay will come back soon. Um, it's going to be a big blow against Sheffield United, no doubt. And I guess the question comes, who comes in? Because we knew this. We knew this, we knew this, we knew this at the start of the season in that if we get at least even one injury to one of our midfield players... You know, then we're going to be in a crisis. And right now, we have injuries to two midfield players in Paul Pogba and Scott McTominay, arguably two of the better players in the midfield that have been this, this season and better players for Manchester United. Um, so for me, this is a huge blow. Um, if it's just one game, it's not so bad. But the fact that you have, if it was just McTominay, then maybe it wouldn't be so bad. But the fact that you now have Pogba and McTominay out, you know, what what is our midfield going to look like? You know, Matic seems to be in. I've been frozen from the team. Maybe he might come in. I don't know. Are you going to play? Um, I'd expect, assuming if, if Matic is fit. I don't know if he is. Maybe he's not. He doesn't know what the team selection. I've got no idea. But he certainly seems to want to move away. But I suspect the only thing that you could do is play Matic and then Fred and then per uh, uh, Head and then play Pereira. That's the only situation I can see happening unless you're going to start to bring Garner and Gomez into the team but then someone obviously has to come onto the bench in that respect and um it's a huge blow it's a huge blow um I think um and um I'm not saying Scott McTominay is the best player but again as we know when you let Fellaini and Herrera go you you let two midfielders go and you don't replace them and then you get two midfielder injuries you know we're starting to to, to really struggle to find you know, um, find replacements, certainly solid replacements, because we don't know when Scott McTominay is going to come back, and to arguably throw a like of Ghana or possibly Gomez, who might be able to play at least up top um, in, in front of the, in the, the midfield, I think would be struggling. I don't think you can uh, uh, suggest that Jesse Lingard or Juan Mata can start coming into that midfield, um, because I just don't think that's going to that's that's that that's solid or reliable for that matter. That's not where they naturally play. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Like I said, I do think this is this is a massive blow for Manchester United um, in combination with Pogba being missing. But I do hope that Scott McTominay comes back to full fitness. Um, thanks for listening, guys. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, We United X. Have a nice day, guys, uh, and cheers.